Hi again, um, it's Jim Fari, day two of Mike Dolmer Ultimate Drum Experience. Um, got to bed at 7 o'clock this morning after uh, trying to bring that last video to you. Um, it's actually rendering now. Uh, this is my room, uh, I've got my notes, got a big TV which I've not watched. Um, and uh, yeah, it's going great this morning. We've been playing some really rocking tracks uh, with Jace Bold. Um, you know, just getting our own interpretations down of ideas and, and doing a lot of uh, push to stickings in a kind of crazy rock way. So um, yeah, I've just had a big chocolate milkshake from Starbucks uh, and a sandwich. And uh, looking forward to maybe taking some more films later. I think there's a kind of con tonight. Um, and uh, yeah, I might even go for a swim. <laughs> cool. See you later. Chris, how's today going? It's good, yeah. Yeah, what did you do this morning? Everything. Jazz, punk, rock. Do the yeah. You smash it? Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Right, so uh, end of day two summary. We've also done some simple playing again with Jeff. Played on a, on a simple track, just keeping it nice and small. Um, apparently don't play fills when there's vocals. Um, I've also been talking about Jabo Starks and Clyde Stallfield, uh, the James Brown drummers, having a bit of a funk history lesson from Stanton as well as playing. And uh, Jeff Davenport's been in today uh, yet again to answer more questions uh, about demystifying the art of tuning. Um, so if you've got that wow kind of sound in your, in your floor ton, tying up the bottom head, um, and then uh, yeah, we'd, we'd just been to Tesco in the evening. So um, so yeah, all good. Um, oh, also uh, Peter Cater, uh, Jason Bold did a, a click. So uh, yeah, Pete Cater, really interesting approach to, to Woody Rich. Learned a lot, and he's going to be in on Thursday uh, doing a day's teaching. So I'm really looking forward to that after seeing him play. Um, cool. See you later. I think something like a cymbal where the response from the, from the instrument is really good and quick. About three years ago, I got involved in a couple of projects uh, to commemorate uh, the 19th anniversary of the birth of Buddy Rich. And uh, shortly thereafter, I got a phone call from an old school uh, show business at Presario in London who uh, used to manage a singer called Tony Bennett some of you may have heard of, and he said to me, he said, how about you go on the road with your band playing uh, concerts of Buddy Rich's music? And I thought about it for about a nanosecond. A um, bit of a shameless plug this one, please do check out jimfari.com, drumsetbeginners.com, and also um, Mike Dolbear himself, ultimatedrumexperience.com. These are websites dedicated to various things, and um, it's just good to see what's going on this week. What, uh, what photos were taken last year and the reviews that were written just because I'm really doing this to give people an idea if they want to come along next year or in future have an idea of what the UDE is all about and uh, also get some awareness going of, uh, of myself and the book that's just come out so check it out Hi, we're here in Tesco. Um, here it is. There are things to buy and eat and drummer magazines. Um, we've got Ben, Kit, Jace. Um, Jace, what are your thoughts on both Tesco and the UDE so far? Yeah, it's alright. Get some orange Kit Kats. <laughs> yeah, good plan. I can use that. If Buzz Lightyear was on the UDE, what do you think you'd excel at? Pneumonic flushters. Amazing. Um, I'm not sure really. <laughs>